I, I tell you an anecdote before, an anecdote that has to do with uh, Josef Beuys, um, who was teaching at um, Kunstakademie Düsseldorf, and um, an abstract expressionist, informal painter, Karl Otto Götz, was also teaching there. Uh, by the time Götz was still uh, rather famous in Germany, he's no longer that much still living, um, and we had gotten in touch, Götz and myself, because Götz, besides his tremendously expressive abstract expressionist paintings, um, also did something in information theory, and that we worked on. So he invited me to Academy Düsseldorf uh, to give a talk there, 66, I believe, 67, um, something around. And as we were walking the hallway in the Hochschule, uh, Goetz says, oh, you know what, over there, that's Josef Beuys. Um, let, let's just pass by. He, they hated each other. Uh, I don't know, maybe boy, maybe Goetz uh, was behind you know, when they kicked Beuys out of... So, okay, by that time, uh, Beuys was not important for me yet. Most likely because I didn't understand. Most likely. Uh, later became. But your question is, returning, uh, was politics of any concern to me? And this is a really very personal question because it it was very important to me, and there was a great discrepancy. Um, four weeks ago or something, I, I gave a long evening something on this discrepancy. Namely, um, from, should I say, from Max Benze, from the circle around him to which I belonged. The reaction against World War II was no emotions. No? Okay. This thing comes in 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 conscious uh, distance to uh, the German history. No? Therefore, in that philosophy, in that art, concrete, unemotional, no, rational, explainable, constructive, everything. So that was in reaction to this. Now and and I like this. Definitely. I, it, it influenced me to a great extent. Um, but now, we're getting closer and closer to 68. Um, so things are happening. Berkeley first, Paris, Germany. And I'm totally involved. Totally. Uh, my last political activity in Germany, Stuttgart, was a demonstration against the Soviet Union um, and their um, invasion. Now I came to Toronto um, and a week later my next demonstration was one against the US war in Vietnam. Hmm. Um, however, I came to Toronto invited by Leslie Meze in order to work on computer art. So great, I, a young guy, had been invited to come there without any obligations um, just to do computer art. Wonderful. Hmm. And this I did. However, I told you this story. Uh, I come from this political involvement. Now, I add one to this um, and, and you, you will then see the uh, discrepancy and the contradiction. Um, in Germany, through 67 and into 68, um, they changed the um, constitution in order to allow for cases of emergency. Um, in German it's called Notstand. Um, so the constitution before did not allow any military actions in Germany, mm -hmm. no, with the exception of defending against aggression from outside. No. They had to change the constitution for the case that be 68 movement, no, mm -hmm. that's why they did this, um, so, so, such that they could perhaps do something with the military in Germany.
Okay. I, of course, we had done many, many activities against this. Fine. Now I was in Toronto. Early in September, I, on one particular day, I gave a talk in the um, colloquium there, computer science. And that very morning, the state of emergency was called in Canada. Because in Quebec, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, FLQ, do you say so in French? FLQ, FLQ. Uh, Front de la Libération de Quebec, mm -hmm. or Pour la Libération, um, they had bombed a computer in Montreal, and the uh, federal government in Canada had called that state of emergency because the FLQ uh, was really becoming powerful. Now, I was giving this talk, and I started this talk in the computer science environment by saying, I don't know if I can do this. Because I came to here, Canada, just leaving Germany because they installed laws for emergency cases. Now I'm here in Canada and the next thing that is happening is that you are in state of emergency. Mm -hmm. How can we talk about computer science? This is impossible. So, I mean, they behave friendly as, as a foreigner. I should not have done this. You know? mm -hmm. I should have politely be silent. Okay, what do I want to tell you? Um, and this continues um, um, with a very good friend who became my better and better friend very early on. I got to know him at that first demonstration against the war in Vietnam. Um, that friend of Jewish um, heritage, origin, uh, kept calling me. How can you do, as a political person that you claim to be, and he said, yes, you are, uh, how can you do computer art? Interesting. This is impossible. That was also what Boy said in reaction to the war and everything that happened. Yeah. He was against the machines. Yeah. And that's also the whole 60s yeah. movement they, I think, I guess, I, I read, they were against artists working with computers Absolutely. because it was a machine of destruction, yeah. or they saw it like that. Yeah, yeah. It, it became my great problem. And I actually uh, published a short little note in 1970 or 71, uh, there should be no computer art. And that note says, I am no longer participating. Um, I will never um, exhibit again. I have broken this, mm -hmm. but then I declared this publicly um, because of the war in Vietnam, because what computers stand for, you know, rationalizing work, thereby uh, f uh, um, uh, making people unemployed. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the computer as technology is no good. You know? It's capitalist, clearly, uh, and I don't want to be part of this anymore. Mm -hmm. So. Then, in, and by the time I was in Vancouver, I had moved there, and uh, these questions by Bob Kellerman in Toronto uh, kept bothering me. You know, how can I get those two together? Mm -hmm. you know? And I decided, no, there is no way. You know? um, whether or not that was correct, I don't know. It was, you know, as an existential act, uh, I felt the discrepancy. I felt that if you use computers, uh, with the exception of this old heritage, oh yes, it's not emotional, you know, and mm -hmm. emotions can take you anywhere, mm -hmm. fascism. Um, but that, I fa found, was too weak. You know, because using computers and do art meant that you could, you know, you could put a sugar coating uh, on top of the evil that mm -hmm. then I felt technology, this advanced technology, stood for. Yeah. Um, I don't believe this anymore now. No. When did that opinion change again? Oh, mid-80s. Mm -hmm. 